Hi guys, welcome back to Absolute Brushes. If you're new here, I'm Pranjali. Thank you so much for tuning in. Festive season is just around the corner, so I thought, why not create a traditional look? And this is what I came up with. So if you want to know how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Before diving into the skin prep, I'm spraying my face with the Color Essence Makeup Fixing Spray. And to hydrate my skin, I'm using the Pond's Hydrating Moisturizer. For my lips, I'm using the Nykaa Lip Balm in the variant Strawberry. To brighten up my face a little, I'm using the MAC Strobe Cream in the shade Pink Light. And to fill in the pores under my eyes and my forehead, I'm using the Professional Primer by Benefit Cosmetics. Prior to foundation application, I like to color correct my pigmentation with an orange color corrector. This one is by Miss Claire. For foundation, I'm using the Nykaa Skin Genius Foundation Stick in the shade 04. This one is one of my favorite foundation stick because it feels so light and sheer on my skin and also it's super long lasting. To highlight and bring forward the areas under my eye, forehead, chin and nosy, I'm using a concealer that's lighter than my skin tone. This one's Pack Takeover Concealer in the shade Beach Sand. To set my concealer, I'm dampening my beauty sponge with a makeup fixing spray and applying it directly where I crease the most. To bring some warmth to my flat face, I'll be diving into a bronzer. This one's Hula Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics and this will go on my cheekbones, circumference of my face, sides of my nose and to chisel my jawline. To bring some color to my cheeks, I'm using this dusty rose pink shade from the Ofra Cosmetics Signature Palette. To highlight the tops of my cheeks and the bridge and tip of my nose, I'm using this bright gold shade from the Makeup Revolution Ultra Eyeshadow Palette. And to set and seal my makeup, I'm using the Makeup Fixing Spray by Color Essence. To set my concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Loose Powder. For my brows, I'm just filling in the sparse areas using this grayish brow powder by Mars Cosmetics. For my eyes, I'm starting with dipping into this warm nude brown shade from the Natasha Denona Biba Eyeshadow Palette and I'm puffing it right into my crease area. To further deepen my crease area and the outer corner, I am picking up this darker shade of brown from the Nautical Nonsense palette by Wet n Wild. For the middle of my lid, I am first using this bright emerald shade from the Nautical Nonsense palette and then I am topping it up with a bright lime shade again by the Nautical Nonsense palette by Wet n Wild. For the inner half of my lid, I'm using a bright gold shade from the iconic London Loose Pigment Palette. To line my upper lash line, I'm using this black creamy shade from the Natasha Denona B by Shadow Palette. For my lower lash line, I am using the same bright emerald shade from the Nautical Nonsense Palette by Wet n Wild. To brighten my inner corner and my brow bone, I'm picking up this bright shimmery shade from the Nautical Nonsense palette by Wet n Wild. To finish up my eye makeup, I'll be throwing on some falsies but before that, I'm coating my lashes with some mascara and this one is by Mars Cosmetics. For lipstick, I'm first using the shade First Dance by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm topping it up with a nude brown shade Nude Nuance by Maybelline. I'm 
and for falsies I'm using the Mars eyelashes in the style OG princess and here is the finished look I've paired it up with a cream sari some traditional jewelry and a pindi I love how subtle and minimal this look turned out you can definitely wear this for a wedding or some festival so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new here please take a moment to subscribe i post several videos a week i've left the link to my social media accounts in the description box down below in case you want to follow me there i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys